Now the only thing that seems off is its positioning. So now it's a little too far to the bottom. Now if we looked at how Flex Slider was positioning this, its strategy was to set it 50% of the way down from the top. Now this means that it would just bump the top of the icon down to the middle of the containing element. And as long as the next icon is small, that seems pretty well centered. But now that the icon is big, it's clear that it's not in the middle. So let's adjust this top property as well until we get something that looks right. Let's try 30% instead of the 50%. Okay, that looks solid. Now while we're here, why don't we adjust the color in our design if we pop over to it. It's actually white and it has a bit of a drop shadow if we turn on those effects again. So let's try to make that happen in the browser. So now if we change the color in here, it's not going to change it in the right place. So it will still look black. We need to adjust the color in the before section here. And so we're applying this to all of the different A tags. That is the previous button and the next button. So we'll add the style to this A before here. So we'll do color white. Okay, and that actually looks pretty good. If we zoom in, we can see the drop shadow just a little bit better. It looks like the drop shadow color is a little bit off. In our mockups, it's darker and a little bit more visible here. So let's adjust the text shadow. So let's start by copying this text shadow. And let's adjust the properties here. So instead of using 255, which makes white, if you make the red, green, and blue 255, that's the highest value, we're gonna make it zero, and that changes it to a black shadow, and then we'll adjust the blur a bit to make it bigger, so that's the third value here. So the first one is the X offset, that is how far to the right or left it's going to be. The next is the vertical offset, that is how far below or above, and then the third value is the blur. So we'll set the blur to three pixels, Let's see how that looks. Okay, it looks a little bit more washed out, so I'm gonna add some to the opacity here. And now I'm going to bump it over a little bit by making the first number two pixels. And that made it a bit too dark, feels like. So let's go down to 0.4. All right, so not bad. Now we can see when we zoom in that the edges to this element aren't ideal. That is, if someone's looking close, they're gonna see something funky. So this is something that we can fix by drawing our shape manually in Illustrator. But for now, we're just going to leave it as is, assuming that probably people aren't going to notice so much. 